Can't get, I can't get in. It's queue is no. massive. When yeah. I, I, I don't know if they they, 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 they give gold for free there or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the official Leeds United podcast. Junior Furpo, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Hello, how are you all? Um, Very well, thanks, like mate. I can only apologise for the lameness of that round of applause because we did have Jermaine Bedford on with us previously and three people clapping definitely yeah. sounds better than two, doesn't it? So I can only yeah. apologise. Also... No, I, playing, can, I, I, can be, I, can, I can be the third if you want. We can oh, do again. let's, can be let's do it again. Yeah. Okay, Junior Firpo! Yeah. There you go. Bang on, Woo! there we go. Yes, <laughs> yes, love it. Um, I can only apologise, I got very excited when you joined us and I've spilt my uh, Diet Pepsi on my top. So anyone watching this on YouTube, that is what it is because I didn't have it there earlier. Story of my life, I'm ever so sorry. No but Junior, how are you? I'm good, a little bit tired after the session, but uh, good, good, really happy, really happy. Leeds you- fans will be delighted that you're a little bit tired because that means you're working very hard, doesn't it? Yeah, we are working really hard, really hard. After after the international break, we have a few games, so we need to we need to be prepared. Um, absolutely. Um, we've got you know it's that that game was you know the Wolves game was huge, huge three points. But obviously, it's the next ten eleven games that are really gonna gonna decide uh, where we go this season but before we get on to that I just want to say I mean you talk about being tired it's amazing that you're in the gym flogging yourself after after running yourself into the ground just just a couple of days ago I mean you must be exhausted from that game <laughs> yeah it could be but well obviously the three points helps a lot and and right now I feel just just fresh and ready to to keep working is where we want um yeah I mean I've got the stats here, which I think is just incredible, um, we've got uh, the top three distances run by a Premier League team in a game this season have all been achieved by us, Leeds United. Yeah. You know, against Liverpool yeah. in October, Man United in February, and then and then that Wolves game of which you were a massive, massive part. Um, just talk to us about about that about that mad game. About the game, well. Uh... I think it was a tough, a really tough game, and I think Wolves have a really good team, have uh, really good and fast players, and obviously we are a team that 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 we have our our best strength is that all the team is running all the time. I think this is um this is a thing that stayed during over the years. Is is came maybe with Marcelo or maybe before I don't know because I've been just with Marcelo. I I didn't been definitely I didn't, Marcelo. I wasn't I promise with you. another coach. <laughs> so uh, this is a, a a thing that stayed with Marcelo after with Jesse March as well was was a coach. The same now Javi is more tactic, but we still we still want to run. We still want to cover a lot of ground, and we're still able to do it. So I think this is the, our our best strength. Um, Junior, can you talk us through what a week looks like with Javi Gracia when you're building up to a game? Um, what's your training like? Have you noticed anything that's different? And how are you finding it? Well, more or less, it's, 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 it's similar. Obviously, like, um, it's what it is. Football is, is more or less always the same. Obviously, you play. The next day is, is recovery for the players who play the game and a hard session for the players who didn't who didn't play last, uh, the day before, after, two days after, this is a day off. Usually uh, the third day we came and we do, we should do, we used to do strength in the gym before training, after a good session, after upper body, upper body, uh, just go home. Uh, next day, same, a little bit, another hard session with power in the gym. Uh, two days after, two days before the game is a little bit, we, we low a little bit uh, the intensity. And we just do set pieces, uh, moving boxes, something like that. And day day before the game is just a quick session, you know, for get the body ready to the game. You you mentioned there that that, that Javi is is a little bit more tactical uh, minded when it comes to some some of these games. Um, do you think that that's made a, a, a big impact on on your form? I mean, obviously you've 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 been injured over the last couple of years a fair amount. Um, and and I'll be the first to admit I've been I've been critical at times, but the last few weeks you've been utterly fantastic, um, and I mean genuinely man of the match performances. Um, you've been unbelievably good. Do you, do you feel like you've really cracked on under under Javi Gracia? 
it's, 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 I think it's, it's a few things. It's a few things. Obviously, the, the first thing is, is not picking injuries, just, sure. just getting the rhythm, just getting the rhythm, just playing games. Uh, obviously, Javi is a big part. Uh, he's a Spanish coach. I can, I can talk with him a lot. He can talk with me. Uh, he just helped me a lot. It's, it's, it's our tradition, how we train in Spain, how we play in Spain, more or less, more tactic football, not this crazy football, that we have a lot of open space. And um, the biggest thing in the pitch is that now we play with a full width. So right. I have options. Before, when I had the ball, it was a little bit, dif- a little bit difficult. I didn't have a winger in front of me to play the sure. ball with. I, there was all the team compact, narrow, and it was difficult to find an option. And now I can, I can do my game. I can overlap, I can underlap, I can go for where I can play with Willie, Jag, or whoever is in front of me. And we can do 2v1, or I can help him for leave him space for for him for make the 1v1 like the first goal that we scored that uh, if he's 1v1 if my winger is 1v1 we have really good wingers so if my winger is 1v1 I just try to don't go with him for sure. for bring him another player so he can be in 1v1 because they will they will win the duel the 80% of the time sure we have really good wingers so just that I can I, I can I can play my game and I'm really happy for that I love it. Has I'm that very helped happy your confidence? <laughs> <laughs> has sorry, that sorry. With your, has that helped with your confidence, Junior? And confidence yeah. as well in your teammates? Yeah, obviously. Like, I've I always been a player that who never, I never lose my, the confidence in myself. Like, I, I've been, this is not the, the difficult situation that I've been in my life. I've been playing in a, probably in one of the, one of the top three, top five clubs in the world and the pressure there is a real pressure. So that was difficult. That was difficult and that was difficult to manage. The, um, the pressure, the difficult to manage your confidence. But here, the first thing why I never lose my confidence is because my teammates never lose the confidence on me. That's the most important thing. When you go in the training, when you go, when you talk with him, when they talk with you, when they always are backing you, they don't they don't they didn't lose their confidence in me never never so that's for me the biggest thing and after that as i say i am a player that always believe in me always trust in me and and i just say okay that's that's that was the situation before let's let's try to to change it and hopefully change one thing that i've i've been really really uh admir- admired about your performances at leeds is that even through all that time when you were injured you could see that when you were out on the pitch, how much it meant to you. And you could you could see it tenfold when you got that goal against Southampton. It just looked like it meant the absolute world. Please just talk us through that moment to get that crucial, crucial winner in that game. No, I think it's just, it's, the smile just came to my face when I remember that moment. Like, I think it was a, a, a real important moment for, for me, for all the team, for the club. For the fans as well, you know, because obviously um, when you are not playing at your best, me as a player, I'm the most critical with myself, I swear. Not, nobody knows, nobody knows how critical I am with me. So it's good that after that goal, you listen all the crowd, all the stadium, like chanting your name and, and all those things just make me really happy and make me really proud, you know, after all the situation that I that I went through. So obviously... I just was happy, as I say in the interview after the game. I scored a few a few nice goals in my career, a few goals in important stadiums, everything. But this one, I think, is the um, is the most important one because obviously it was a must-win game, and the team needed the team needed. And right now, you can see that this game was really, really helpful. Yeah, we were all delighted for you as well, Junior. Obviously, international break now. How are you going to spend it? What are you going to be doing? Well, we will go. We will go back to Spain probably on the days off. We will go just for visit the family for a stay there. Nice weather in Malaga is twenty seven degrees, so <laughs> <laughs> enjoy a little bit of sun. <laughs> and will you be working? Uh, obviously, Willie's going to be going off with uh, with Italy. Will you be working closely with uh, with Jackie in that time? Try and work on some more with of those the- overlaps. <laughs> nah, with, with Jack, with Jack, I don't need to work. It's too much. It's too much link in that pair. So, oh yeah, we are just we just have a really good relationship in in and out of the pitch. So we don't need we don't need to work. And he's he's one of the best wingers that I ever had in terms of help the fullback. 
you know that that's this is this is really important for 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 the fullback when you have a winger that is commitment with the work and help you with the with the two v ones on the sides, especially here in the Prem that every team has amazing wingers. Is is unbelievable to have him. I was going to say, what, what's it been like with uh, Will Wilfred joining the club? Um, obviously, very very young, but seems to have a much older head on his shoulders. How, how's what's it been like having him in front of you on the pitch? No, I th- I think I think nobody expected from Will. Mm. Nobody expected when he first came. Nobody expected he was just a a shy guy that didn't talk too much. He was a, even he was a little bit shy on the pitch as well on the training sessions. But as soon as he went on the pitch, he was unbelievable from the day one. Since the day one, like his maturity is not is not normal for a nineteen years old. I don't know no, how right. it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not it's not normal how he plays, like how the mature that that he has, everything is 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 unbelievable for be honest. I'm really happy for him because he's just such a good guy. Yeah, and he's deservedly cemented himself as a fan favourite off the back of his performances on the pitch. Um, yeah, for no, you, he's playing unbelievable. What are, what are your goals and ambitions uh, for yourself and for your teammates for the remainder of this season? Well, I think this is um, a general thing. Obviously, we want to stay in the league. I think we will achieve it. Uh, and if we stay the, as high as we can, better. But the only thing that I don't want is arrive at the last game of the season. <laughs> and, and need a win. And need a win for, for staying yeah. in the league. That's the yeah. only thing. So we will try to do the work before that. We will do it. We will do it. And after that, as personal, just just stay healthy. My only goal in the in in football after, because as I said before, I'm the most critic critic with myself, and I I feel pain when I'm injured. I feel really pain because I, I I take it personal with myself. So just stay healthy. Just because I, I I love I love football. I love I love happiness. I love to be to be happy and to play to be able to play football. So just that. after that, just Everything will come. I uh, obviously national team is something that I I, I want to make it, uh, and I think if I stay healthy and I keep playing at, at that level, in, even even a little bit better, I can do better. So I think I will I will I will go. Incredible. Um, setting sights a little bit shorter um, with our with our first game up after the break, Arsenal away. Obviously, league leaders, tough tough place to go. Um, what are your feelings about that? No fear, fearness. You say fairness. Yeah, fear, like, yeah, no, 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 no fear. Yeah, no fear. No fear. No fear. We 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 prove against the the big teams. We can we play amazing. We always we play amazing against big teams. I think the only game that against the top six that we we did we wasn't closest was against Man City at home. But after that we beat Liverpool. We beat Chelsea. We did a, a good game on the Stamford Bridge. We did a really good game against Tottenham that we went up yeah. most part of the game. So we at home against Arsenal, we did an amazing game as well. So deserved no that fear, one actually. No fear. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no fear, no fear. We we will go for the three points. No fear, love that, Junior. What Absolutely. is it like in the dressing room before a game like that? Before a game like that, the same, the same. I am talking about just confidence, just confidence in the team. Those games usually always the the the, the biggest team because I I've been there. So what they say, what they what they are thinking about is just. No rush, just play until they get tired. Someone will not make the run that they need to run for cover the space and we will take advantage. But in our team this doesn't happen. We we, we run out of the game so there is yeah. there is no problem. They will need they will need to, to to make unbelievable 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 actions if they want to, to beat us. After that win against Wolves, um, there was a clip on the club's Twitter of you all heading back into the dressing room. Somebody was playing Wigfield Saturday night. Saturday night dance, I yeah. like the way you move. Do you know who chose that song? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, who? It's Tom, Ro- it's Tom Robertson. Is the, the fitness coach. He's a bad DJ. He's a bad DJ. They don't <laughs> that. DJ. Usually... usually <laughs> usually, usually is the um, Spanish guy Rodrigo or me who put the music, but before the games and everything, they put the um, English music. Music, what is what is good, but not Saturday night after like, after a, a win. We need, you need to put something better. What would you have played? Probably one of the last album of Bad Bunny songs. Probably that one that is just um, Titi me pregunto is the name of that song. Can you sing it for us? 
I'm about to (laughs) (laughs) Well, on that basis, Junior, I'm sticking with Wigfield Saturday night. I think that was an absolute banger. I I was so impressed. I was I was so hoping that was one of your teammates. I I was hoping it was gonna be like No, you you is is all school music for sure. It's another school. (laughs) It's not it's not one of the guys. (laughs) Um um, Matt, a question for you. Am I right in thinking you two have the same tailor? Um, apparently so. I think that's uh, written on the old notes here. Um, uh, did you get did you get married in a suit from uh, Michaelsburg in the uh, in the Victoria yeah. Quarter? Yes, so yes, we do. Yeah, we yeah. have the, we have the same tailor. I think I remember we a have picture the same of you tailor. when you got when nice. you got married. It's a tidy little suit, that Junior tidy suit. Yeah, yeah, tidy one. It was a nice. It was really nice. Yeah. Yes. Someone's doing all right. I, they, I, eh? I also got married in a Michaelsburg, so we have that in common. There you go. And that's nice. where the it, that's where it begins and ends, Matt. That is all you have in common. That is as close <laughs> as I'm ever going to get to Junior Furpo. You're absolutely right. <laughs> no, no, no. We can we can go for a coffee whenever you want. Absolutely. Oh, well, there we go. Look at that. I'm, you know, I play. Ra- I, I play on right back, so you know we'd be on opposite sides of the <laughs> sides of the pitch. <laughs> Um, okay, okay. He, yeah, yeah. He said, he said he said a coffee, Matt. Don't push your luck. Yeah. <laughs> um, just on that though, um, Matt, you were joined by Robin Cock, weren't you, on last week's episode? And he was talking about his favourite places to go uh, for was. coffee. Do you have any favourites, Junior? I, I I do I do I have one in Harrogate that is uh, oh, I think it's Gronk Betty's. Gronk. No, 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 no. Oh. But it's, it's always a big queue outside. I never, oh, I never yeah, been because it's the, the can't queue is massive. Can't get I can't get in. It's queue is yeah. massive. When yeah. I, I, I don't know if they, 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 they give gold for free there or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, <laughs> the coffee or the team must must to be unbelievable. Oh I man, know, they're gonna have I, to send you something now. They got to send yeah, you like a care yeah. package yeah. now. Yeah, send please. him a fat rascal, Betty. He'll love that. He will yeah, love please. it. No, um, no, no. I think it's Grand Cafe. Grand Cafe. So what do you what yeah. do you think of Leeds, mate? I mean, obviously you talked about the weather in Malaga just there. I'm sure that the weather does not compare in Leeds. But uh, what do you think of the city as a whole? I think I, I think it's a really good city. I, I didn't I didn't know the city before I joined the club. You know, I didn't know. But uh, the un, the auntie of my wife is he, she knows a lot a lot of things. Like she is really clever. Uh, she's teacher on the university, so she's super clever. So she told me that Leeds is one of the most, the three most important cities in the in UK in England. So oh, she started to talk us about all the the places that we can go, about York, about Harrogate, okay. about about the city more or less. And when we came here, we we discovered that was true. This is a really nice one. Like all my friends, all my family, when they came here, they didn't ex- they did they didn't expect, but. They, they they love it and I and I love it and my family love it. That's the most important. My family is happy here. My kids are really really happy. So we love Leeds, for be honest. We love Leeds. If the, if the weather can improve a little bit, a little bit <laughs> will be unbel- will be amazing. Will be amazing. We have nice restaurants. We have places for go and shopping. You have good connection with London. You have Manchester if you don't have a flight for for Leeds Bravo. So it's really good. Right, well, we'll see what we can do about the weather, but you don't need to worry yeah. about that, do you, in the international break, because you're heading off to Spain. Have a lovely time, yeah. with the time that you do spend there. Best of luck as well, Junior, in that game against Arsenal. We can't wait to see a repeat of you in that Southampton game. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Best Mate, of luck to you and the lads. So, no so Thank happy you. for you. So buzzing for the way the way you're playing at the minute. Please, please keep it up. You're, you're doing Leeds a, a great service at the minute. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we'll you. Do. This is the official Leeds United podcast.